It is Trial Tuesday once again today. We are recapping the legislative session with the bearded and blazered attorney David Ayler from DavidAyler.com. Attorney at law. He's got extensive experience in criminal defense, personal injury, and DUI cases. Counselor, welcome back to the program. Thanks for having me back. Let's talk about these, these issues. A lot gets done in a legislative session, but of course there are those bills that, that we cover here at ABC News 4, maybe a text message bill, some, some healthier lunch bills, that eventually it, the session just runs out and you don't have time to get to everything. So let's go over a couple of those bills that maybe did get passed and then didn't get passed. Yeah, you, you had a couple of, you know, interesting health bills that did pass. One that uh, local representative Peter McCoy put in uh, for uh, concussions, basically for high school students and how they're going to get examined uh, through the sports was something that got through. Obviously, one we've talked about here was the Alice Boland bill uh, related to the gun checks for the mentally ill. So there was a few key ones that um, I think are more popular that people are familiar with that did pass. But then you mentioned things like the text message bill, ethics reform, parts of those type of things uh, have not completely gone through, uh, in which is pretty normal, but sometimes for the public eye, it seems a little odd. Is it more difficult to, to pass one of those bills just because it doesn't have that public support behind it? Do you think that's what causes that log jam up in the, in the state Senate and state uh, House? Well, a lot of times it's a combination of things. Sometimes the support wavers uh, as things move forward through committees and different things like that. But other times it's simply because other different uh, attachments, if you will, sometimes they're called pork, sure. gets added on to it. So while maybe a certain representative, a certain senator is for parts of a bill, they ultimately reject it. Uh, because of other things. For instance, that's happened with the uh, Aviation Authority as far as the commission and, you know, uh, how they're actually electing those folks and who's on the board. Uh, simply people are for parts of it, but then when other issues are brought in, then, you know, therefore they start to waver from it. You know, what do you think about when people, you know, we, we send these guys up to Columbia to get this stuff done when it doesn't get done? Do you, do you think uh, from what you've heard that people in, in the public eye or, or people just, you know, regular citizens like you and I, kind of get upset at these guys a little bit? Absolutely. You see a lot of people get frustrated and ultimately sometimes uh, they may lose their position next election cycle. But what you have to understand is there's so many different, you know, moving parts of the bills. And while it may pass through one body, it may not pass through the other. And then, of course, the governor, as we know from previous times, obviously doesn't sign in a lot of laws that are even passed by both the House and the Senate. Sure. Uh, one she did just pass, uh, Attorney David Ayler, was that the, the beer bill, which now people can go and get that those pints up when they go to a brewery like we have here in Charleston for those tastings. Uh, do you agree with that one? And do you see any potential legal problems coming out of that? Well, I think that they have a lot of, you know, restrictions in place with that. Obviously, it was an economic thing uh, for all those breweries. But that's a good example that you bring up of how there was a lot of support. When you have a lot of lobbying and ground root support, you'll see things that will push through as opposed to maybe other things that have smaller amounts of support or really small amounts of money as far as the lobbyists. And I know that one specifically because of all the breweries here in South Carolina was pushed pretty hard, not only by the breweries themselves, but then, of course, by the lobbyists they hire. Right. How about one that... that that affects your profession a little bit and that was some of the the legal troubles that came out of from monitoring programs those electronic monitoring bracelets where do you stand on that do you think legislation needs to be passed and and how often or how soon do you think it can get done well, you know, you got to be real careful when you have knee-jerk reactions uh, to legislation, typical things like the monitoring. Obviously, horrid issues may occur where one certain situation was really bad, and then they want to move forward from that. But when you look at the situation from a whole landscape, it's not always something you want to move quick with legislation on because then it can come back and bite you in ways you don't think about. Absolutely. Uh, of course, uh, not everything gets done in a legislative session. Hopefully, they can return to Columbia next year and make sure that they get that done. Attorney David Miller, thank you so much for coming on the program, sir. Thanks. Always me. a pleasure. We'll be right back with more Low Country Live, so stay with us.